preview. I'm Kurt, and we're going to start off by going over the French Grand Prix results. Max Verstappen takes the win yet again, picks up 26 points. Uh, it was a tight race, uh, came down to strategy. Uh, Max Verstappen switching to the two-stop strategy halfway through the race, or at least we think switching to uh, two-stop strategy, unlike most of the other racers, um, was able to undercut Lewis Hamilton and the Mercedes, get new tires, and get back out there. And it definitely worked. Having Perez go the distance on his first run also made a big difference. Strategy was the key to this race. So, again, Verstappen was in first. Uh, Hamilton was in second. Perez third. So, two Red Bulls on the podium uh, for the first time this season. First time in a long time. Botas fourth. Norris fifth. Ricardo sixth. Gasly seventh. Alonso eighth. Vettel ninth. And Stroll tenth. Uh, Ferrari had a horrible race. They couldn't keep up with anyone, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, especially the McLaren. So in McLaren, uh, we'll see here in a minute, just making big changes, big moves uh, from this race. And um, just another takeaway from this race, it was great to see fans in the stands again, uh, a lot of them not wearing masks, and looks like they're just having a great time. Great to be, glad to be back out there. And uh, hopefully we start getting back to more normal races here, fans in the stands cheering and just having a great time. So after the French Grand Prix, the standings are Max Verstappen in first with 131 points, Hamilton in second with 119 points, Perez moving up to third with 84 points, Lando Norris moving up to fourth with 76 points, um, sorry, Botas in fifth with 59 points, Leclerc in sixth with 52 points, Sainz in seventh with 42 points, Gasly in 8th with 37 points, Ricardo in 9th with 34 points, Vettel in 10th with 30 points, Alonso in 11th with 17 points, Akan in 12th with 12 points, Stroll in 13th with 10 points, Sonoda 14th with 8 points, Kimi Raikkonen in 15th with 1 point, and Giovinazzi in 16th with 1 point, and then Russell, Mazepin, Schumacher, and Latifi. You can all change those, interact in as much as you want, they all have 0 points. Uh, so, like I said, um, top two, no point. Uh, sorry, like I said, um, Perez moving up to third. Norris um, moves. Uh, Norris and Perez moving, making moves here, uh, which is you know great for them. And in the constructors championships here, uh, Red Bull is still in first with 215. Mercedes falling a little bit behind here with uh, in second place with 178 points. McLaren is in third with 110 points going up over Ferrari, who is in fourth now with 94 points, picked up zero points on the last race. Uh, fifth is Alpha Tori with 45 points. Aston Martin is in sixth with 40 points. Alpine's in seventh with 29 points. And Alfa Romeo is in eighth with two points. Haas and Williams still with zero. Oops, and then, uh, so the Steering Grand Prix, um, this is the qualifying results, obviously not reflective of the grid, but for Stappen, number, uh, P1 yet again, uh, with the fastest lap of one minute and three seconds, this is a short track, lots of turns, very, very tight, or not very tight, but, um, tight turns, and it should be, it's a lot of fun to watch, as short as it may be, uh, Botas ended up qualifying second, We'll go over that in a minute. Um, Hamilton, third. Norris, fourth. Perez, fifth. Gasly, sixth. Leclerc, seventh. Sonoda, eighth. Alonso, ninth. And Stroll, tenth. So it was pretty uneventful qualifying. However, due to Botas's little stunt in the pit stop during practice, um, in the pit area during practice, he uh, qualifies P2, but he is going to get a three-stop penalty. Uh, Botas claims that uh, during qualifying, Q3, Sonoda got in his way, cost him two-tenths, and he should have qualified first. Uh, I doubt that. He's a better, he's a professional driver. He should be able to do a little bit better getting around Sonoda than Sonoda just being a little bit too far, uh, too close for his comfort. Uh, got in his way a little bit. He will probably get penalized. I haven't read anything about it yet. But um, So Botas is going to move down to fifth. And uh, Sonoda, we'll see where he ends up. He was in eighth. Um, he'll probably get uh, 
a spot or two penalty, but we'll see how that goes. Um, like I said, uh, it's the it's a the Austrian track. It's a really cool track. Uh, some speed zones, but the the turns, especially turn number nine uh, and ten, um, giving the tr drivers a lot of trouble during qualifying and practice. And it'll be interesting to see how that plays out in the race. Next race is going to be the Austrian Grand Prix. And that is going to be on next weekend, July 4th. We have three races in a row um, before we get ready to start taking a break here in a little bit. Not quite yet, but uh, the Austrian Grand Prix, same exact track. So we'll see if the teams learn anything from this or if we just have a repeat next week. Um, it's really interesting to have the same track two weeks in a row. We'll see what happens with that. And thanks for watching the We Miss Exit uh, Steering Grand Prix preview. I know the race is already going on. Haven't started it yet, but uh, looking forward to watching it and see what happens. Uh, for my predictions, I'm going to say, um, let's see here. So uh, I'm going to say Verstappen has a great race yet again. Uh, I don't think they're going to have any issues. I, I think they've got what they need in order. So I'm going to say Verstappen's going to end up in first. I'm going to say Hamilton second and Perez third. Uh, just a repeat of last week. Um, I don't think Norris would be able to hold off the Red Bull. He can't hold off the Mercedes. I don't think he's going to be able to hold off the Red Bull. Uh, Botas moving down, already be starting behind Perez, I think is going to be a factor. Um, otherwise, I probably would have changed my top three. But um, with Botas getting that penalty, uh, I don't think he'll be able to really make a difference as far as uh, Perez goes. And uh, like I said, Verstappen's just going to have a great race yet again. Um, and then Hamilton, as long as he doesn't mess up, which I don't think he will, um, it's going to get second, Perez third. All right, thanks for watching. And